Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, there's an email just below, team also at thewatchbox.com, your purchase and pricing question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly, team also at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing a model launched in 2019, though the actual market availability was somewhat delayed. This, 42 millimeters in stainless steel and titanium, is the Tag Heuer Ottavia. So 42 millimeters is the diameter, 13.5 millimeters is the thickness. From lug to lug it measures 50.3 millimeters and if we include the solid end links of the bracelet it's a beefy 55 millimeters across the wrist with a spacing of 21 millimeters between the lugs. Let's zoom out a little bit, put it on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist and get a sense of the fit and the feel. The watch is comfortable. It is broad though. As you can see 55 millimeters from end link to end link means that it is a sizable timepiece with a large physical footprint though at 13 and a half millimeters with a solid case back it is fairly thin so it should have no trouble with a cuff and I would recommend the watch for a wrist no smaller than 15 centimeters circumference if you're going to wear it on the bracelet like this because it is fairly broad across the wrist. Cuff shot, overhead shot, one more down the barrel to get a good look. Okay, the bracelet. The bracelet is nicely made. It feels substantial. It looks good. It's also not clearly derivative of anyone else's bracelet design and points for originality. As you can see, it's primarily of satin finish, though there are a few polished accents on oblique facets or the facing sides. There is also a different sort of plane, a change of plane in the links themselves. Rather than the center links being set in line with the flanking links, they're raised up somewhat, which gives this bracelet more of a prismatic appearance. Now you can see that pins and sleeves are used for fixing the removable links. So if you want to size this one at home, you are going to need a block and a punch. I take note there is a half link built in, and then we have a clasp that is a single fold deployment, milled out, very solid, twin trigger release, Tag Heuer logo on the bottom, the twin triggers ensuring it can't pop open accidentally or deploy on intentionally. Uh, the case is designed to pay deference and reference to the past without being a slavish re-edition. So we have a sheer case with blended lug profiles. It's got a cushion profile overall because of the way it sits with minimalist beveling and then squared offense. Of course, the early 60s Ottavia named to reference sports including aviation and car sport or automotive endeavor. Ottavia, quite simply, a watch for either. Now the timepiece is also great for those who are ground bound and low speed as it's easy to see day or night polyvalent with its combination of chronometer certification, bi-directional rotating bezel, automatic winding, sturdy stainless steel, and being beautifully loomed and highly water resistant. It's really in the wheelhouse for what a mainstream sports watch is in 2021. Uh, that said, it's also fashionable in a way that the historic Octavia might not have always been as we have a lovely gray gradient dial that fades from sort of silver gray to center to almost black at its edge. You can see there are applique indices which are polished and rhodium plated. And then there's a chaptering inboard of the bezel. The bezel bi-directional rotating with a nice satisfying click. It's not a dive bezel. It's more like an A aviation bezel that can turn in either direction. It is a count up timer, so line up with the minutes hand. You have a zero to 60 minute timer. The insert is ceramic for scratch resistance. And then we have lovely vertically arrayed Arabic numerals on the dial, which have little satin silver underlays. Uh, we have hands that are, of course, once again, polished and rhodium plated for brightness and contrast. And then a white on black date disc down at the bottom, replacing the numeral at six. We'll roll quickly through the date change just to make sure we're not in the middle of the night in the changeover zone that could be dangerous to a date. By the way, take note, hacking or stop seconds. Quick set for the date. Flip it over. Here's the titanium that I mentioned earlier. The case pack is made of titanium, so it's hypoallergenic and helps to reduce the overall mass of the watch. You can see the image of the automotive wheel as well as the tri-spoke propeller, so Ottavia in name, Ottavia in form. Inside the case, uh, Salita SW200, bi-directional automatic winding, 38-hour power reserve, uh, 26 joules, stop seconds, and hacking. 4 hertz speed rate, 5 position adjusted COSC chronometer specification. So it's been tested over 2 weeks in 5 positions and 3 temperatures. So this watch is both tough and accurate. Handsome, historically inflected, but not a slavish retro watch. Not purely, and I appreciate that. This is a good looking timepiece that manages to be modern while preserving the best of the past. Reach out to Team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. And we're back with the Tag Heuer Ottavia by Night.